Welcome to Artie Crafty Alchemy. Today I am sharing with you the November Hedgehog Hollow Box. I'm the Artie Crafty Alchemist. Let's get started. So this month we have some Christmas tree stickers instead of the regular Hedgehog Hollow one. We have a postcard with the same trees on it. Welcome to your November box with me and my inklings. I have probably had the most fun with this box. There is nothing better than creating with a friend and hopefully you feel the spirit and energy in this month's collection. This month's print was hand illustrated by Laura just for you. I'm secretly hoping she might send me the original for the studio. Don't forget to follow Laura over at Laura Kelly Designs. Let's see what we get. Me and my peeps base set. We have a bunch of doodle people. Boys, girls, a house, dogs, cat, turtle, frog. I assume that's a frog. <laughs> and a few little accessories. And then we have Christmas add-on me and my peeps. We have Santa, a snowman, Santa's hats, a lolly border, Merry Christmas, tree, present, bear, a bow. And then we have Nouveau Sparkle Shimmer Powder in Catherine Wheel. Oh, I don't think I have that one. I went and looked at someone's video. I thought they had the pink one, but I don't actually have the Catherine Wheel one, I don't believe. So we'll check this out in a second. And then we also have Sparkle Dust, which... I have none of. Interesting. Wow. That's a very fine, glittery, sparkly. <laughs> I've got it all over me already. Stuff. Hollywood red. Then we also have that in fresh kiwi. So we've got a green one. The kiwi has a lot of gold highlight in it as well. I'm not sure if the camera is picking that up, but there is a lot of gold highlight in that as well. It's a bit dark in here today because I have my curtains pulled over because it's quite hot outside and I'm trying to keep some of that heat out, especially while I don't have the fans on because I'm filming. Then again, we have the same cardstock bases as last time. A candy with a Christmas tree in it. Our six pieces of Nina, and I love that they're giving us the thicker one now. Our regular subscriber bonus is this funky circle stencil. Members get a coupon code for Ellen Hudson and Tonic. And then we have three pieces of double-sided cardstock and four pieces of Christmas-themed cardstock. My kingdom for a spray bottle with only water, but I don't have one. So I'm just going to grab this. I stuffed this one up. This is Catherine Wheel. This is going to be extra shimmery because I only have a shimmer. And I have plenty of spray bottles, but who knows where they are. I'm just going to have to tilt this for a second. Lots of red and pink in there. And lots of sparkle. And there's even some bits of yellow in it I can see. It's pretty cool. We also got an Ink on Art Smart Screen Stencil. Print Express. Expose, rinse, create. Introducing a revolutionary new way to make custom stencils at home. Ink on Art smart screen stencils allow you to create stunning products using your own custom artwork. Customizable, reusable, you can use on glass, wood, chalk, metal, and more. So we get first stencil, which is this pretty flower, and no idea how to use it. So I'm pretty sure Alexandra has a video on how to use this over on her channel. I'm going to take this domed ink blending tool and some Lucky Clover Distress Oxide and work it through the stencil. Now I'm going to move the stencil over. And finish filling in this side. I am going to gently mist the stencil. I'll save that for another project. Next I'm going to trim a very small piece of the black spot. I'm going to attach that along the bottom. Trim off that little bit extra. I've just cut myself a strip of Renault Art 300 GSM watercolour paper. I'm going to use the Gina K Amalgam ink. Because of the watercolour paper, I had to do a couple of extra passes. This time I have the Marvi Uchida pencils from a previous box. I'm trying to be really gentle as I lay down colour so that it doesn't leave too many lines when I colour. 
I have a Daily Rounder Daylon D77 number 4 round that I am painting with. Now I'm taking the brown for the tree trunk. Yellow for the star. And I'll add red to Santa. Black for the boots and the gloves. And a little bit of this fleshy tone one for Santa's face. Oh no, it was supposed to be the tiniest speck of red for a cheek, but never mind. Let's see if we can lift some of that. Okay, I'm going to let them dry and then fussy cut them out and I'll be right back. Placing Santa and the Christmas tree where I want them to go. And I'm going to grab the present stamp and work out where I want it to go. And then because I'm stamping onto the stress oxide, I'm going to grab archival and just ink up the bows. Then I'm going to grab the Merry Christmas and pick that up. I'm going to use my anti-static tool. I'm using the Nouveau Clear Mark embossing pad from a previous box and some Nouveau Black embossing powder. Unfortunately I missed a spot so I'm going to re-stamp it. Next I'm going to adhere down each of the figures. And I have these gems here and I'm just going to stick a couple of random ones on the card. And there is card number one done. This card I'm going to take the base character set. The other one I use the Christmas add-ons. Again, I'm going to ink this up with Nuvo. Oh, I forgot to use the anti-static. Again, I'm going to use the black bossing powder. I'm going to have to double stamp this by the looks of it. This is not watercolour paper, so I'm going to have to try and be very careful. That was Chinese ink, ink tents. Next I have grabbed iron blue, red violet, going for the iron blue again, be red. Ink tents does not have the colour I need so I'm going back to the Mavi. For the cat, I'm going to go with Chinese ink again. For the hair, I'm using Saddle Brown. And for the spots on her dress, I'm going to use Aquamarine. I did play around with the Storm Cloud and Catherine Wheel. Storm Cloud was from a previous box, Catherine Wheel was from this box. In last month's box there was a stamp set and I'm going to grab from my family to yours which is pretty small. I'm going to take the Amalgam Black Ink and I'm going to take this Nelly die and some post-it tape. I'm going to run this through my cuddle bug. I'm going to cut myself a piece of this background that I made earlier with the two Nouveau Shimmer Powders. I've chosen a Nelly multi-frame that's about two sizes bigger. I'm going to send that through my cuddle bug. I'm going to use some foam tape behind each layer. And I'm going to add that on there. And there is card number two. The first card I used the Marvi Uchida pencils. And for the second card I used mostly Intense with one Marvi Uchida. And then I used the shimmer powders for the background piece. 
hope you enjoyed my card making process for these two cards if you did please don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to see more content like this and hit the bell notification to know when new videos come out let me know below which card's your favorite thank you all for watching and i'll see you all next time bye for now